When it comes to comparing the T-14 Armada and the Panther KF-51 tanks, there's a lot to consider. Are we talking about which one packs a bigger punch, or which one can hit targets precisely from kilometers away? The answer isn't straightforward, as Russia and Germany have put a ton of effort into making tanks that reflect their unique design philosophies. The rivalry between the T-14 Armata and the Panther KF-51 represents a modern chapter in the long-standing tradition of tank design. They each come from different backgrounds, shaped by the engineering prowess and strategic foresight of their respective nations. While comparisons are inherently complex due to specific ways they're supposed to be used and where they'll operate, looking at the strengths and weaknesses of these tanks can give us some useful insights. In this exploration, we'll dig into the intricacies of their technology, firepower, mobility, and protection. Stay with us as we break down the world of tank design, revealing what makes the T-14 Armada and the Panther KF-51 unique. Let's start with the overview of these battlefield giants. Hailing from Russia, the T-14 Armada is a cutting-edge main battle tank crafted by the Ural Design Bureau of Transport Machine Building and brought to life by Ural Vagon Zavod. Its journey began in 2014, with prototypes rolling out between 2014 and 2021, followed by the start of serial production in 2021. What's noteworthy is the shift in its price tag, climbing from $3.7 to $4.6 million in 2015 to $5 to $7.1 million by 2022. This increase, however, mirrors the tank's reputation as a technological powerhouse. The T-14 Armada stands as a testament to Russia's prowess in tank design, marking a significant chapter in armored warfare. On the other side, Panther KF-51, a cutting-edge main battle tank jointly crafted by Rhein Metall and Krauss Maffei Wegmann, the collaborative design journey kicked off in 2016, giving rise to a formidable tank that seamlessly merges German and Hungarian engineering prowess. As a modern main battle tank, the Panther KF-51 stands as a testament to the technological strides achieved by its creators, epitomizing excellence in both engineering and military innovation. While the Panther is still in its conceptual stages, the T-14 Armada has already been produced and battle-tested in Syria. There's also a generational difference between the two tanks, with the Russians claiming the Armada is a fourth-generation tank, while the Panther is considered part of the third generation, incorporating fourth-generation technology. When it comes to firepower, the KF-51 Panther boasts a 130mm L-52 smoothbore barrel, surpassing the 125mm smoothbore gun on the T-14 Armada. The Panther's primary weapon, the Future Gun System, fires advanced munitions like next-generation kinetic energy and programmable multi-purpose high explosive, along with the Hero 120 loitering ammunition. Meanwhile, the T-14 Armada currently mounts a 125mm smoothbore gun, but holds the potential for a future upgrade to a formidable 152mm gun, promising a significant boost in firepower. While the Panther's larger caliber provides an initial advantage, the Armada's potential upgrade might level the playing field. Talking about the armor, the KF-51 Panther is lauded for its top-notch protection, employing active and passive defense systems such as cutting-edge composite armor and the latest AMAP ADS active protection system. 
this combination ensures comprehensive 360-degree coverage against a wide array of threats. Conversely, the T-14 Armada features the Afghanit Active Protection System, Advanced Modular Armor, and a distinctive unmanned turret design encapsulating the crew compartment in a fortified capsule for enhanced crew survivability. While the Panther prioritizes active and passive protection, emphasizing its top-tier capability, the Armada focuses on crew survivability through its unique turret design and active protection system. These contrasting approaches to tank armor underscore each nation's distinct strategic ethos and combat doctrine. While both tanks boast robust mobility features, they diverge in crucial aspects. The Panther, armed with the proven MTU-883 V12 diesel engine, generating 1,475 horsepower, is celebrated for its power and reliability. Equipped with the reliable Rank HSWL-354 transmission and a torsion bar suspension known for its durability and efficient power transfer, the Panther follows a traditional yet effective approach, emphasizing durability and efficient power transfer, contributing to its overall mobility. Converselli, the Armata leverages a more powerful engine, producing 1,500 horsepower, potentially elevating acceleration and speed, granting a slight advantage over the Panther in engine performance. Equipped with a modern 12-speed automatic gearbox, the Armata reflects a modern transmission approach, enhancing ease of operation and responsiveness, resulting in smoother and more efficient gear changes compared to the Panther. The Armada's hydropneumatic suspension offers an advanced and adaptable solution, allowing variable ride heights and improved terrain adaptability, potentially providing it with an edge in navigating diverse landscapes. Concerning the digital evolution of tanks, the Panther stands out by being fully digitized in alignment with NATO generic vehicle architecture standards. This not only signifies compliance with established technological norms, but also paves the way for future decision support systems and the integration of artificial intelligence. On the other hand, the Armada takes tank digitization to another level with its incorporation of a fully autonomous target designation and firing system. This advanced feature underscores the Armada's capability to operate with a high degree of autonomy, streamlining target identification and engagement processes. So, does Armada outshine Panther? On paper, it certainly appears so. Armada boasts numerous features that make a compelling case against the Panther. Yet, it's crucial to recognize that each tank possesses unique strengths and capabilities. Declaring one as definitively better requires a thorough analysis of their real combat performance, surpassing the limitations of a mere paper comparison. Determining superiority is no straightforward task. However, if you had to choose, which nation's tank would you prefer? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.